Today is June 29th, 26. <laughs> Today is Friday, June 26. All right, Friday, June 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Tuesday is June 30th. That is the election day for Colorado. And we've been doing written ballots the whole time, so this... We're not going to have any problems with this written ballot format. District Attorney, 12th Judicial District, is between Robert S. Willett, Willett, Robert S. Willett, Willett, and Alonzo Christopher Payne. So you got Robert S. Willett and Alonzo Christopher Payne. I just got off the phone with Alonzo Christopher Payne, and uh, he was, uh, I'm tickled pink. <laughs> I am tickled pink. He is uh, very, you know, he uh, comes across as very honest and decent, and um, he got Bernie Sanders to endorse him, so that's like, wow, you know, that's like, holy crap. But I uh, read through some of the things that I had read about him, and he was like, yeah, I'm aware of my platform. <laughs> and I asked if he believed in the rule of law, so, you know, but, and then he said, yeah, I'm a lawyer, so he has to believe in the rule of law. And um, I said, well, just to make sure that we're defining it, you know, the same way, that no matter if you're rich or poor, powerful or powerless, that the law applies to everybody equally. And he said, fuck yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Alonzo, Christopher Payne, that's who I'm going to vote for. Bernie fucking Sanders. Uh, Bernie fucking Sanders. He's a Bernie, you know, the, the, he endorsed him. He endorsed him. Alonzo Payne is a badass on so many things. First of all, he's an attorney running for district attorney, so he's running for the prosecutor job, right? He's running to be the top prosecutor in the San Luis Valley. And uh, in Kentucky, the judges and prosecutors, they weren't allowed to have, they were nonpartisan races, so they would basically avoid talking about all issues. And you wouldn't know what the hell they, you know, actually believed in. And here, Alonzo Payne has, you know, he's talking about a whole sh shit ton of things. First thing Alonzo Payne is saying that, you know, you've got the backlog of cases in the court system right now because of the overzealous approach to prosecution and incarceration of Robert Willett. So he's actually saying Robert S. Willett is the problem. <clears throat> the current appointee, Jared Polis, is a Democratic governor, so the uh, current, uh, the last one, the last DA, Krista, became a judge and that left an open seat. Robert S. Willett was a part of Krista's, uh, you know, um, the senior deputy, whatever, DA, part of her staff. And so the Democratic governor went ahead and appointed Robert S. Willett to fill in. So it's Robert S. Willett is going to be the district attorney until the end of 2020. So for the next six months, I don't believe they become, you know, it takes it's January 1st is when they take power. So... I believe, right, so Robert S. Willow is going to be in power for six more months. Alonzo Christopher Payne would be the challenger. He would be the, um, you know, the insurgent, the upstart, the emerging candidate. So he's sitting there saying that Robert S. Willow uh, is the problem. Now, there was a retired judge, Amanda Pearson, had wrote and said that she endorses Robert S. Willett, but she also said that Alonzo Payne is a good man. So even that retired judge, Amanda, you know, from Sawatch County, she's, you know, says he's a good man. He's a proud progressive Democrat doing a fight for the poor and middle class. That's fantastic. The poor, nobody mentions the poor. The presidential candidates only talk about middle classes, never the poor or working classes. He's been a lawyer for 15 years. He's been a sixth-generation resident of the San Luis, uh, the city of San Luis. Actually, he's probably, probably been here for 14,000 years, right? Sixth generation, that's a lot of generations, probably 100 generations, right? Bernie Sanders endorsed Alonzo. Did I mention that? He's for mental health and substance abuse treatment instead of over-criminalizing the poor and throwing them in jail and throwing people in jail that don't, you know, crazy people shouldn't be in jail, people with uh, substance abuse, addiction problems shouldn't be in jail, children shouldn't be in adult jails, he's going to prosecute the cops who break the law, 
and with that new, you know, police reform bill, so there's no qualified immunity anymore. Cops can be sued. They will be held to account for what they do, which is great for everybody. That's good for everybody. He's going to end money bail. He's in favor of transparency. I wonder how he's going to enforce. The whole idea of bail is you stay right there unless you put up a bunch of money because if you say, you know, you, they let you go and you run away, then uh, they take all that money. So if somebody's going to have to put up that money, you're going to have to lose a bunch of money. And so if you don't put up money, I'm wondering how do you, you have to put up collateral? What do you, you know, if money bail isn't the way you arrest a person or a speedy trial, you arrest them and you have the trial the next day. I'm just wondering how does he actually see that going through transparency. San Luis Valley has the highest incarceration rates in Colorado. So the San Luis Valley is just throwing anybody and everybody in prison for the fuck of it. And Alonzo Payne is going to uh, rectify that. He's for bail reform. Small communities waste too much money housing crooks awaiting trial. Alonzo Payne believes we're innocent until proven guilty. He's for a non-cash bail system, and he says that all indeterminate sentencing is unconstitutional, and therefore he's opposed to it. Bernie Sanders endorsed Alonzo Payne. He's for no money bail. That's the biggest policy plank, no money bail. He's also talking about transparency, prosecuting the police, and diversionary programs. So Alonzo Payne is just, you know, a fucking badass. Alonzo Christopher Payne is, I cannot believe that I hadn't heard about, you know, anything about Alonzo Christopher Payne. I guess the only publication they get is this uh, Costillo County um, Free Press. So uh, maybe, maybe he wrote something, I didn't see it. But um, Robert S. Willett, okay, now let's, you know, the, you have Alonzo Christopher Payne, which is, as a human, as a person, he's, you know, pretty uh, amazing, and he's, you know, uh, owning the progressive label. Yeah, I'm a progressive, but I got libertarian leanings. I'm a left, left libertarian, so that's, you know, God, he's just speaking my language. Now, Robert, and so, you know, he's, uh, Alonzo Payne is very dynamic. Alonzo Payne should be the district attorney for the San Luis Valley. Alonzo Payne's a badass. I don't, you know, I only know this, you know, paragraph of information in this, you know, 12-minute phone call, but uh, he was, you know, he talked to me, he, he picked up the phone, he picked up the phone, right, so, I mean, that tells you something right there, there's a, a politician in Kentucky that believes that if you call him and you leave him a message, he'll call you back, no, guaranteed, no matter what, you, you call him, he'll call you back, because, I mean, that's really, you know, common courtesy, is it not? And he's saying that I cannot get a hold of Robert S. Willett. I, try, I should try to get a hold of Robert S. Willett. Now, all this is a little bit tongue-in-cheek, so I hope you don't take it too personal. Okay, so Robert S. Willett, at the end of 2019, just as the U.S. was getting the, you know, Kung flu, COVID-19 coronavirus, SARS, it's SARS-2. He keeps, you know, messing with the name. SARS-2, right? This is the second strand of SARS. At the very end of 2019, he gets appointed. January 1st is when he's going to take power. Jared Polis, the governor, Democratic governor, Jared Polis appointed Robert Samuel Willett to be the district attorney of the 12th Judicial District. Krista Neumeyer Olson was the former DA for the 12th Judicial District. She now serves as the district judge, I think, for the 12th Judicial District, too. So she became the judge of the court that she was a prosecutor of. And since the DA uh, position was wide open, then Robert Samuel Willett got in there. He's the, the senior deputy district attorney for nine whole months, I think at the 12th Judicial District, but he'd actually been a lawyer for six years or maybe the senior deputy DA for somebody else for, I've seen nine months, six years, so I don't know. He was part of the staff, right? So Krista Neumeyer Olson was the prosecutor. Samuel Willard, uh, Robert Samuel Willard had to do whatever Krista was telling him. Hey, Robert, you better do this case or that case, and how come you, you know, did this thing all wrong? But he was like the head honcho, so he was the number two dog, but number, you know, number two out of whatever. A dozen, how many people work for the DA? Robert S. Willard earned his B.A. from the Metropolitan State College in 1996 and his J.D. from the Appalachian State School of Law in 
2012, and his high school was called Lynn R2. He graduated from Lynn R2, his high school, and then he graduated from Metropolitan, and then Appalachian. Are these actual names? This is like if he was an alien just coming up with the general vague names of things. So where did you graduate college? Uh, City College. Really? Where did you, where'd you get your JD at? Town, town College. Town City College, huh? Yeah, okay. Uh, did you go to Village High School, too? Got his NPR from City College, his PPP from Mountain School, graduated from Musita P492. So, Robert S. Willett. I want to say Willis or Willett. It just it stops too soon. <laughs> Robert S. Willett. Robert S. Willett. Alonzo Christopher Payne. Alonzo Christopher Payne. And presenting Alonzo Christopher Payne, Robert Samuel Willett. Willett. Alonzo. <laughs> so, Robert S. Willett. Alonzo Christopher Payne. He, uh, you know, apparently, I guess he went to school in, on Earth somewhere. <laughs> but he was appointed, right? So he's the DA, DA for six months. He's going to be DA for another six months. He's going to be a year. You could see him come back in two, three, four years or so. Or maybe as a judge, who knows? Right? Now, Judge Amanda Pearson's going to write a letter, said that he cut his teeth on the Swatch County Court. So Robert S. Willis is, is you know, Willis... <laughs> is going to be in the Sawatch County Court. And then a letter with terrible grammar, Amanda Pearson, retired judge Amanda Pearson, said that, you know, from Sawatch County, says that Bob Willett's passion, Bob, Rob, Bob Willett, oh, Bob Willett, his passion is when it comes to the juvenile and adult diversion programs. And so the establishment apparently loves Bob Willett the, of Sawatch County. Alonzo Payne says Robert Willett is just a cop from Missouri who perpetu perpetuates oppression. So is Robert S. Willett just a cop from Missouri who perpetuates oppression and is involved in tyranny and incarceration and throwing uh, overzealous prosecution, throwing any and everybody in jail? Or is, you know, as Judge Amanda says, that he's, you know, thoughtful and kind and decent and he knows how to do the job? So Robert S. Willis, I should try to see if I can get a hold of him to see if I can, you know, talk to him, see if I can call him. And you can't call the office because that would be political, so you'd have to find, maybe leave a message to call him, and then he could call on his own private cell phone. Maybe that would be a good way because it's hard to, maybe I could find to see if he's got a Facebook page or something. But I'll give Robert S. Willis, a, you know, a chance to, um, to get a hold of me. And I got a, I got a dog howling, so I got to, I got to take care of this. Anyways, 9.42. This is, on, you know, Friday, June 26, 2020, 27, 28, 29, 30. It's only four more days. And how many other Coloradans right here? Look, I have a blank Colorado ballot, right? So I am a voter. I am a voter in the, you know, for, and, uh, therefore I've got power. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a voter, and, uh, in four days, the, so I'm wondering how many other people are just like me, sitting here, you know, four days, I'm, I'm gonna drive to, you know, and drop it off, the uh, purse, I like doing that at the at main office on Monday, but, uh, you know, it's, I have not filled this out at all, so, you know, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I got two more days to fill this thing out. I have a good sense of everybody I'm voting for. I still got to figure out District 1 and District 3. We got two districts here. A lot of people are going to vote for both of these boxes, thinking they should, and it might invalidate them, so I need to call the county clerk on that. But, uh, yeah, vote, uh, you know, hey, America, um, Colorado, um, anybody, I don't know, Ukraine, if you're paying attention, uh, vote for Alonzo Christopher Payne uh, for right now. That's, I uh, enthusiastically endorse him. So it would be interesting to see um, if Robert S. Willett did contact me and call me back, what 
he would actually, you know, um, uh, what if he could win me over? It'd be interesting if he could actually win me over because uh, I I like Alonzo Payne. <laughs> I enjoyed the conversation. He was a little brash. He was, uh, you know, talking on the phone while driving, and the you know reception's going in and out. He did call back when it, you know, the conversation dropped the first time. When it dropped the second time, I, I don't know if it's dropping or if he's just like, oh, I'm sick of this. <laughs> you know, I don't want to I don't want to talk anymore. And um, I did mention that uh, I have a YouTube channel, and I asked him if I could post the conversation to the channel, and he didn't. He said, if I knew that you're a reporter, I said, I'm not a reporter, just a citizen. And um, and then the conversation dropped. You know, that seems pretty convenient. That was pretty convenient drop there, right? But uh, he didn't say no either. He didn't say yes, he didn't say no. And... Um, you know, that's, uh, it would be better to, I think, hear the actual interview, to actually hear the actual conversation, and um, uh, perhaps I should go and tell, you know, everybody that uh, I've interviewed so far that uh, maybe they would, you know, maybe they'd be okay with it, too. But, uh, you know, I think it's important as a citizen to find out who these folks are, but as a citizen of, you know, the people, I want them to have good policies for the general public. Yeah, I want you to like me, but I want you to have good policies. If you have good policies, if I do need you, then, you know, your good policies, you know, your good uh, institution of good policies will do me good. So, yeah, John Masters, 9.45 a.m. Friday, June 26, 2020. Peace.